Hey folks, how's it going? This is the Bold Metal Nerd coming at you with uh, another video. And in this one, uh, I'm going to make actually the first video on YouTube about this, very surprisingly. Um, I got not one, I got not two, but I got all three of the Andesi Transformers editions. Uh, basically, they're Phantom 3s uh, in disguise. <sighs> Ironic. And, uh, you know, with Transformers on that, so they're a bit more expensive because you can get a standard Phantom 3 for about 350 um, these ran me 400 a piece, so definitely paying a bit for the branding. So I'm going to go ahead and just unbox one of them. Uh, I'm going to unbox the Bumblebee one because I think it has the most interesting design on the cushions and all that. Out of all of them, um, I'm not going to unbox all three. So let's we'll start with this one and uh, see what's in the box. Just going to go ahead and grab the old test trip. And by the way, guys, uh, right now it's it's a little bit after seven o'clock. So, sundown, I'm doing this in my garage because I have three of these chairs. It's a lot easier than trying to set up somewhere in the house to do this. So, the reason I'm not showing you the whole box is obviously my address is on some of this. And I just didn't feel like trying to mark out my address. So, all right. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Okay. It says, me caution, do not uh, touch the recline lever while removing from the box. Okay. Get that flap out of the way there. And this one open here. I'll take off the cover and that reveals. Wow, this is really nice looking. Um, you gonna get the stitching of that Autobot logo. That is pretty fantastic looking. Um, turn it around here. Um, not sure how well this is showing up on camera. It absolutely looks great in person. Uh, the Bumblebee design. So let's see what else we got in here. That. <clears throat> Obviously, we got the base for the wheels there. And after that, looks like we got the uh, back pillow. After that, we got, oh, uh, let's see. This is gonna be hardware and all that. I'm not gonna unbox that since we know what's in there. But it does look like we got, oh, that's the, uh, that's the reclining rest here. This one goes on the bottom of the chair. We got the uh, neck pillow. And of course, this is the main part of the seat that you sit on. It does say, let me turn this around so you guys can see it here. It does say Phantom 3 series. Large gaming chair. And let's see what other goodies are in here. We should have hopefully an instruction manual. Where's that legendary instruction manual I've seen in every other antecedent unboxing? Maybe it's in one of the maybe it's in the box with where the hardware is on it. Let's look at a pause real quick, guys, and see if I can find a few things. Okay, folks, it looks like all the goodies were actually inside that inner box. We got, of course, the manual right here. Um, hardware and Allen key. And just some other pieces I can just show. Camera there, required to assemble the chair. So uh, what I'm gonna do, obviously, is I'm gonna stop recording. I'm gonna put the three chairs together and we'll see how much sunlight we have left by the time I'm done. Supposedly these are super easy to put together. We'll just find out how easy. See you in a bit. Okay, folks, here we are with all three of the seats assembled. It's a bit after 10 o'clock at night. Um, I've moved into the house, obviously, from the garage. And I just wanted to show them all off uh, together first. Um, here is the manual. And yes, it's a Phantom 3, like I said in the earlier part of the video, which I knew before I even opened these by looking at the specs of these and comparing them to the Phantom 3. These are just Phantom 3s in Transformers branding. And, uh, you know, like I said earlier, you can get a standard Phantom 3 for about $350. So it's up to you if the extra $50 is worth it 
for the customized look of the Transformers on each one. And for me, it was. By the way, just before I proceed further, these were not provided to me for review. Um, and this he's not paying me for this. None of that kind of BS. I paid out of my own pocket for three of these chairs, 1200 bucks. Crazy, I know. And you're asking yourself, well, why on earth did you do that? Why would you buy three of these things? Well, uh, the middle one was a little bit of a mistake, Bumblebee. Unfortunately, I told my wife of the existence of these things, and she said, oh, hey, do they have a Bumblebee? And stupidly, I said, yes, she'd like, oh, I'd love to get the Bumblebee. So, hence, there it is, right? Uh, the Optimus and the Megatron, I'm sorry, Optimus and Megatron, uh, those are for myself. Uh, they're going into my uh, basement because I'm finishing my basement, and that's where they'll be, right? So that's why I bought three of these things, essentially, all right? And a story why. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a detailed look at these, uh, kind of one by one. And uh, we'll start with Megatron. And we'll go low first. Start with that. Get a really good view of the actual seat part itself. And then, of course, just the graphics going up. And one touch that I really love on these is the uh, head neck pillows are magnetic, which is a really, really nice touch, of course. And I think it looks good, you know, with or without that pillow attached. It looks fine either way. And uh, let's go ahead and I'll just turn around the seat real quick. Now, I am missing the uh, magnetic covers on these. I don't know if it's because I misplaced them in my haste to assemble these or if it just they weren't included. Um, I will go through all of my, uh, you know, uh, leftovers, you know, trash from this. Uh, tomorrow again just to see if it's missing if it is missing I'll contact their customer support and see if I can get some more covers and I'll let you guys know when I do the extended review on this and then on the back here we go the only bummer to me about this seat is on the fact is the fact that on the back there's an Autobot logo here instead of a Decepticon which is kind of lame considering this is Megatron but I'm sure maybe Hasbro dictated a little bit of what the design had to be for the brand or whatever, I'm sure. That was probably some short-sighted marketing decision on somebody's part. So, there's that. Anyway, moving on. Uh, obviously, we're going to take a look at Bumblebee now. And get that out of the way. And I have to say, I really like the way the characters look on these. Uh, that was pretty much the whole reason for buying these. Um, I really, really do like the look of these quite a bit. I think they look very nice. And then, but if you look at the back of the Autobot chair, what's really cool is we get those designs and the red stitching Autobot logo looks absolutely fantastic on the back of this. Wonderful appearance of these. Absolutely. Uh, that's the whole reason to get these is the way they look, right? Well, I mean, we're going to talk about the actual seats themselves and all that, believe me, but... I think the extra $50 for me personally is worth it. It may not be for you. Everybody's a little bit different, right? So, and $400 is definitely not a low amount of money to spend on a, uh, you know, desk slash gaming chair, whatever you want to call it, you know. Um, it's definitely, definitely a hefty fee. Now, here's what I can tell you. Um, I haven't sat in these for an extended period of time yet. I've just done the most cursory very fast sit down and yes they are very comfortable chairs um i don't know how comfortable compared to other chairs i will get to that uh you know at the end of this video i'll show you guys what i've been sitting in and i'll kind of compare this to that um you know so we will talk about how much of an upgrade it is over roughly a hundred and some odd dollar chair hopefully it's a pretty big upgrade comfort wise i I think it is. My initial little sit down, it feels like a big upgrade, but I'll, I'll tell you for sure here in a bit. Um, also, you know, lots of people who praise how easy these are to put together. I did not find them particularly easy to put together. Now, they weren't incredibly difficult. It's not like I struggled mightily to do it, but it wasn't the easiest, fastest process either. I would call them about average as far as difficulty for assembly. More or less what I expected. So, Nothing too great, but I'm not really going to take points off either. So, anyway, that's it for this. I'm going to sit in this for a little bit compared to my other chair and uh, give you some final thoughts uh, for this uh, quick part. Okay, folks, before I really get started with the conclusion of this, you're probably wondering why are you showing this part of your home. Well, like I mentioned earlier in the video, and if you're new here, I am finishing my basement. 
And uh, this, ironically, the area we're standing in right here, this is where the Megatron chair is going to end up going. Because uh, I think it'll fit the motif of that room that's coming pretty well. Uh, obviously, though, currently I'm using the Optimus chair. But all three of these chairs are obviously going to be identical as far as comfort and all that goes. And, by the way, I did locate the uh, magnetic side covers for the third chair. And I put them on. No big deal, right? So, that's out of the way. Now I'm going to talk about uh, what I've been using compared to, you know, what I've upgraded to, right? So, uh, what I've been using really all of my life, uh, <laughs> more or less, at home anyway, are fairly inexpensive office chairs. Many of them have cost under $100, and for comfort, they're always kind of just okay, right? This one, this was slightly over a hundred dollars when I got it's still slightly over a hundred now it's just the Amazon basics like high back leather executive chair right and I've had this for two years at this point right and the maximum weight rating for this is 290 pounds and yes I am under I am a big fat guy but I'm under 290 right I don't I <laughs> thankfully right so um looking at it the only real wear that this chair has on it so far is the uh back has been worn down by myself, obviously, sitting on this over the last two years. And I've sat in this quite a lot. Um, I work from home on a regular basis. Um, I spend a lot of time at my computer just for recreational purposes, yada, yada, yada. So this has definitely gotten a lot of use over the last two years. And it's still in, you know, really good condition. Um, there's no real tears on it, anything like that. It, it's, it's, and it's still comfortable. No real problem with that. I am going to be keeping this as a secondary chair, right? Uh for use at different desks and all that. So it, this chair is not going away entirely or anything like that, but it's definitely not going to be my primary chair anymore. Um, and there is one slight comfort issue with this compared to this that I'm going to talk about, but I never would have known had I not been able to, you know, quote, A, B between the two chairs, right? When I sit in this chair now, I can tell that I can feel some of the metal structure of this chair a lot more than I can feel in this chair. Because the padding just is nowhere near as thick. The padding on this is much thinner than it is on this one. Now I will say one other thing, it's a lot, this chair is a lot softer, it's a lot less firm, it has a lot more give to it. And if you like that, it's a good chair for that. Now I do kind of like the give and all that. Um, and But this chair is much more firm, but it's still very comfortable, right? And actually, previous to getting this chair, I had a pretty negative impression of gaming chairs overall because, admittedly, before this, my uh, exposure to gaming chairs was very limited. My only real exposure had been, you know, sitting on demo units in stores, right? And what I did not like about them is this chair, thankfully, is is pretty large, right? And we'll, basically, it's it. They recommend it for people up to 200 pounds and up to 5'9", right? I'm 5'10", so I'm, quote, one inch taller than this. No big deal, though. My head, neck still go perfectly on this. Um, obviously, I'm over that 200-pound recommendation, but uh, I don't even put all of my weight on it anyway because my legs, I'm, I'm always, I always have an ottoman uh, in front of the chair, and I rest my legs on that ottoman anyway, right? Because that's just more comfortable for me, you know, um... But I can tell you, sitting on this, it is an extremely comfortable chair. Uh, as far as the back, my only real complaint, and everyone has this about the Phantom 3 chairs, um, is, of course, the fact that this doesn't attach, and you kind of, you know, have to manually move the lumbar pillow, whatever. And it would be nice if it had the lumbar support built in, but it's really not that big of a deal. For me, I think this was worth the money spent. I can tell it is definitely an upgrade over this chair. The materials are much better. I think it's going to be much more durable, yada, yada, yada. I think it's just going to hold up a lot better over time than this chair will. You know, that's what you get when you spend more money. I, I can definitely tell a big difference in materials, workmanship, all that is a major upgrade with this and a seat. Um, I think the only really overhyped part of this seat is, oh, they're so easy to put together. Nah, I mean, they're not horrible, but they're not, you know, fantastic either on that front. So, um... You know, if you think $400 is worth it for you, I can't really tell you a reason not to buy this. If that's what you're looking for, there isn't one. It's it's perfectly comfortable, and it's just like any of the Phantom 3. So if you want extensive insight into the Phantom 3, just Google, you know, on or I'm sorry, search on YouTube, and a seat Phantom 3, they'll talk all about it. So anyway, it is it was nice to be kind of the first one to be able to make a video about these. 
uh, seats because I basically ordered these as soon as they became available. They shipped them here, yada, yada, yada. Again, I paid for this out of my own pocket. And a seat had nothing to do with this. This is this is all me. So this is as brutally honest as it gets. Um, so anyway, that is pretty much it. I hope you guys like this. If you're new to the channel, feel free to take a look around, uh, see what you like. As always, live long and prosper. Keep on rocking, and I'll see you guys real soon.